Hi, my name is Christopher Hart, and I have a new book to show you. It's How to Draw Cartoons, the world's easiest cartooning book ever. And it is an easy book, but it's filled with personality-driven, character-driven faces and bodies, people and animals. So here's the one I want to show you how to draw today. Uh, this is ex about exaggerating the head and simplifying the body. See, that's a big circle for the head. It's like a little triangle for the body. It doesn't have to be complicated. It shouldn't be complicated. So let's draw her together. And I'll give you some tips along the way, and then we can look and see how close we came to the original. So first, I want to be real sketchy. I will use this afterwards and darken everything in. Real sketchy and draw a great big head. Kind of a circle or an oval if you like. We'll be adjusting everything as we go. So it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to change it. Let's give her a little neck here and cut it off here to create that cute little outfit she's got, that little jacket. I'm going to put a little collar here. That's really easy. Just It's almost like a heart, isn't it? I made this a little too far. See what I mean? I'm already making some adjustments. And why do you make an adjustment? You make it because you say, you know, I think that could look better. I mean, that's all you have to do. And you make a change. It works or it doesn't. That's all. Just keep going. All right, now we'll bring the legs together. Why? Because we're simplifying it. Legs are a part of their own pose. You're kind of fighting the style of the character. This is a simple character. And that's the charm of this character. So let's keep her simple. The legs a little more tapered by bringing them in this way. And I'll give her high socks like that. I'm going to make this a little thinner so it almost looks like the neck goes into it. You want that continuation of the line. That's a good look to go with. Okay, we need to get the head going here because right now it's kind of like a walking cute zombie and we don't want that. So, this is a three-quarter view, which means the head is turned this way. And that's the center line. The eye line is kind of low on this cute character. And let's bring this head here. This will be about the ear. And now we're going to kind of straighten this line out a little bit. Give it a little character. Yeah, that's better. I could even lower the ear a little bit. That's right. And bring that one in a little bit too. See that? It's kind of gradually coming in like this, okay? All right, now we're going to have these kind of like almond ear uh, eyes, sorry. <laughs> an almond ear, that would be kind of interesting. It's like an ear and a flavor of a nut. What is that? I don't know. Okay, so she's looking at the side like this. Eyelashes, kind of big. Kind of make her look innocent, eyelashes. A little nose coming from here where the center line and eye line meet. That's a classic place to start the nose. And a little upturned nose, but it's really small. Not so much pointy, it's just it turns up. And we're not going to do much with the mouth. Again, simplify the mouth. We're not going to put lips in it. We're not going to put a shadow on it. We're just going to have a little curve. Not even a crease for the mouth, just a little curve. It's a cute look. And we'll bring the eyebrows in close to the head. Now you see that? They're closer. Eyebrows don't actually start there. Real eyebrows start past the eyes. But we'll bring them in. That's a cartoon technique. It makes a character look cute. So let's build up the hair a little bit. Because the head can really be exaggerated in size. And we'll bring these out. We'll go just above the eyebrows and create bangs. Alright? Bring it all the way around here and in. We have a little curve that ends for the ear. We all recognize that. Everybody has that. Even real people have that. And uh, have a, a big ponytail, pigtail. So this is, comes out behind the head. So it, you don't have to show the starting point. Same thing with this. It comes out behind the head. So it's just sort of overlapped by the head. And now inside of the body, we will have this little kind of straight arm, little mitten type thing holding a cute little purse. Like that. I'll give her a button right here. 
And, uh, oh, she has a little earring, I see. A couple of striations for the hair. And now, let's finish her up, right? So I'm going to start with the eyes. So that, is, that gives the character their personality. And try to match that the other side. Keep them consistent in shape. And especially the placement of the pupils. Both have to be placed in the same way, otherwise the eyes start to wander. Now we put some longer eyelashes out. A little up to her nose. It's not pointy, it's just cute. We'll have a thick line here for the side of the face. And it might look like, why are we having a, a thick line? Why? Because it's already very defined. Well, that's why. Because if you have a very defined graphic sort of simple shape, you don't want to shy from it. You want to emphasize it. We've seen that in many, many well-designed animated television shows. Characters who look very simple, and they press that idea as they go forward with the, with the audience. See, this is going here. Looks like it's coming in one line. That's what you want to do. Okay, flop that over. And rounded bangs just above the eyebrows. A couple of striations, like that. And have those pigtails jump up, flop over. Okay, and now bring this down again, nice, succinct shape, kind of like a triangle, that kind of mitten here, holding this little purse, and we'll make the neck come over here at, a, at an angle, kind of like nice to, to break, break between the collar and the head. Down. And the legs will be tapered. Some knee socks. And I'll just put a little line here in the background so it looks like she's standing on something. A little shadow under the jacket. And a little bit more emphasis on the eyelids. Just a little bit. Okay, let's see how we did. Did we come close? Yeah, I think so. I think they came close, right? How'd that how'd go? Well, listen, I want to thank you for joining me. You know, you can get my books anywhere. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, at Amazon, Barnes Nobles, Joanne, Michael's Arts and Crafts, and independent booksellers. So I, I hope you take a look for them. And please subscribe. I have new videos every Monday that I upload. So thank you for joining me very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.